Hey, what's up, fourth graders? Welcome to our very first math virtual learning class. I know you guys are excited that you guys get to stay in the comfort of your own home uh, while we do a math lesson. So I hope you guys enjoy this. A um, couple things that you guys will need. You guys will need your yellow math books. Make sure you guys have that handy off to the side. And when we're doing math problems or doing this lesson, you guys can pause this at any time. Um, and if you're working on a problem, need a little bit more time, work at your own pace. And you guys can do that. Just hit the pause button and continue on when you're ready. All right, so we are going to be talking about doubling and halvings today. This is a multiplication strategy. Some of you guys did get this lesson already, which is perfectly fine. So we're just going to get to listen to it a second time. But you guys are expected to make sure that you guys listen to this lesson and to make sure that your work is complete at the end. And then, uh, like we talked about before, you guys can take a picture of your work put it in Google Slides and make sure you guys share that with your classroom teacher so we can make sure that you guys are doing everything that is expected of you guys, okay? All right, so like I said, we're gonna be working on doubling and halvings, okay? So this is a multiplication strategy for trickier multiplication problems, so the bigger multiplication problems. So we're gonna work on a problem string today and then uh, you guys will work on this and then you guys will kind of discover on your own that these trickier problems we can do we can double one number and we can take half of another number okay so we're going to do, do some problems together and we're going to talk about how we can break apart these numbers all right so i'll get the problem up here in just one second all right first problem here is 24 times 25 and i noticed that the numbers are backwards so hopefully it shows up good for you i think it will so don't worry about that so it's 24 times 25 now this is a tricky problem isn't it when you look at this, you're like, wow, this is going to take some work and it's going to take some effort. But we're going to focus on how we can double one number and take the half of another number. OK, so what I can do here is I analyze this problem and I can see 25 and I know that we can get this bigger into a nice uh, friendlier number. All right. So this is a tricky problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the double the 25 and we're going to take half of the 24. And let's see what happens. So if we double this 25 and make it 50 and if we choose to double this we're going to have to take half of this so this would be 12 now the beautiful thing about this 12 times 50 is the exact same problem as 24 times 25 all right so then i ask myself can i double this number again can i double 50 can i take half of 12 i can and i understand that if i double 50 to 100, we know 100 is a super friendly number, right? So now I got to take half of 12, and it's 6. So in this type of problem, we can do the doubling halving strategy, okay? So as you guys probably already know, what is 6 times 100? I'll give you a second to figure that out. You can always hit the pause button too. Yes, it is 600. So guess what? 24 is this 24 times 25 is the exact same as 6 times 100. All these problems will equal 600. So that's an example how we can do the doubles and the halvings. All right, so I think, I'm, well, Mr. Petroff, that's an easy example. You can get to the 100 in, with that number, but you can't do that with every number, right? So let's try another problem. So I came up with 13 times 8. All right, so let's think about that. Now, I know some people can probably break this number apart and figure out 13 times eight. But let's just do, for the sake of practice, let's do the double and halvings strategy, okay? So let's take 13 and double it. All right, so we doubled 13 and we got 26. Now, what, would, what do we do with that eight? So if we double this one, we have to take half of that eight. Half of eight is, I'll give you a second to think about it, would be four, all right? All right, so 26 times four is still a challenging problem. Let's see if we can still do that doubles and halves. All right, so what we could do is we could take, we could double 26, which would be 52. And then if we take half of four, what would that be? That would be two. All right, so we could probably double 52 and we could probably do that, but can we still do the doubles and the halves. I think so. So let's try it out. So we could double 52. We can always double. Can we take half of two? Yeah, we can. Half of two is one. All right. So now let's think right now. What is 
52 and 52. Let's double 52. I'll give you time to think about that. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I know 50 and 50 make 100, right? And then 2 and 2 make 104. So look at that. We broke down this tricky problem of 13 times 8, and now we got 104 times 1. It's a good strategy, right? So what is 104 times 1? I know we all know this one. I'll give you a second. Got it? All right, so I got 104. So the big idea here, fourth graders, is when one of the factors in a multiplication combination is doubled, and the other factor in that combination is halved, the product remains the same. All right, so what you guys are going to do today, the first page, I just want to go over with you guys real quick. You guys are going to be doing page 221 in your book. Now, I just want to read the directions, what you're going to be doing. It says, look at the numbers in each problem before you begin to solve it. Think about which strategy would be the most efficient. Then solve the problem and show your work using number labeled sketches or words. So that means fourth graders, these will be multiplication problems. So we just learned the doubling and halving strategy. Now it's a great strategy. Now if you analyze the problem and feel like that's not the most efficient strategy, don't use it. Just use the one that you feel the best. But that's an option that you guys can use today. So you guys will also be doing page 222, and that's a challenge page. Uh, you guys should have no problems doing it. Question number four is another problem dealing with doubling and halvings. But question number five is talking about this. It says write and solve a multiplication problem that looks hard, but it is actually easy if you use the five is half of 10 strategy. Now, how you do that one is, is if we look at five times 16, kind of a tricky problem, right? So what you guys can do is you can do exactly what we just learned about. So we can double five, which equals 10. And we can take half of 16, which think about it. What is half of 16? It is eight. So that would be 10 times eight, which equals 80. Okay, and guess what? Five times 16 equals, you're right. It equals 80. So these two problems are exactly the same. All right, and then you guys will also have page 223, which are some multiple step award problems. All right, so just to reiterate, your assignment today is you guys will be working on page 221, page 222, and page 223 in your yellow books. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed our first lesson. Great strategy to use, the doubling halving stra uh, strategy for our big multiplication problems. Now remember, after you guys work on this page, or these three pages, you guys will take pictures on your Google Slides, and you will share that with your fourth grade teacher. All right, so they can check you off and make sure you guys did your work for today. All right, I hope you guys had a great time. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your time at home with family. Uh, a little suggestion is stay off the technology besides with your schoolwork. Get outside and enjoy yourselves, all right? Make sure you guys stay active. Go Rockets!